But good morning, family and friends, YouTube out there. We are so happy, at least I'm happy, to be alive and able to do this Bible challenge one more time. We are at Exodus 29. We're going to read the first 10 verses together. And I'm asking you all to continue to stay persevering in this challenge to complete this chapter on your own free time before we come back together tomorrow. We are at our 79th Bible Challenge Day. Hallelujah. Give yourselves another hand clap. Pat yourselves on the back again because we don't have to do this. We don't have to. This is something that I want to do and I'm just sharing this experience with you all. And I thank God for you all who also are like-minded and desire to do the same thing. So we are here to motivate each other, to encourage each other. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I know you all have plans today. It looks like it's going to rain here in Illinois. So uh, that's not going to stop my family. I don't know about your family. I'm going to drink me some orange juice. And it's just very cold and soothing this morning. Let me know what you're having in the comments. And let me know if you're having any plans, any special plans this weekend. And even if you don't have any special plans, and you know, if you plan on staying home, just kicking back and just staying out the rain and staying out the heat and just enjoying some family movies and family time, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into Exodus 29. And this is the thing that thou shalt do unto them, to hollow them, to minister unto me in the priest's office. Take one young bullock and two rams without blemish, <clears throat> and unleavened bread and cakes unleavened, tempered with oil, and wafers unleavened, anointed with oil, of wheat and flour shalt thou make them. And thou shalt put them into one basket, and bring them in a basket with the bullock and the two rams. And Aaron and his sons thou shalt bring unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall wash them with water. And thou shalt take the garments, and put upon Aaron the coat, and the robe of the ephod, and the ephod, and the breastplate, and gird him with the curious girdle of the ephod. And thou shalt put the mitra upon his head, and put the holy crown upon the mitra. Then shalt thou take the anointing oil, and pour it upon his head, and anoint him. And thou shalt bring his sons, and put coats upon them. And thou shalt gird them with girdles, Aaron and his sons, and put the bonnets on them. And the priest's office shall be theirs, for a perpetual statue. And thou shalt consecrate Aaron and his sons. And thou shalt cause a bullock to be brought before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Aaron and his sons shall put their hands upon the head of the bullock and may god add a blessing to the reader of his wonderful word i hope you all is following along with your own bibles and a summary from google for this entire chapter including the verses that you're going to read on your own are uh this is the sacrifice and ceremony for the consecration of the priests the this this was also <clears throat> uh, a continual a uh, burnt offerings this symbolizes God's promise to dwell among Israel. Uh, there was a lamb that was offered every morning and every evening. And how this applies to us today as believers, we are sacrificing every day unto the Lord. It might not be a lamb every morning and a lamb every evening, but we're offering our prayers and our praises and our lifestyle unto the Lord. So we're not just uh, uh, ritually waking up, praying every morning, every evening, or ritually praising God every morning, every evening. We are also applying the prayer and praises into our spirit so that it becomes a lifestyle. That no matter what we do, people should see Jesus inside of us. And it doesn't mean that we're perfect people. It doesn't mean we're perfect people. But we do not purposely sin. Okay? Um, we, we, we don't 
get in and out of our own skin when we get ready. Uh, we're not ruled by our emotions either. We are subject to self-control and practice make perfect. We practice that. You don't practice. We have to let God renew our mind. We have to accept the Holy Spirit into our lives. Ask God to forgive us for our sins, truly repent, and and truly dwell among other believers who are striving to be perfect. Okay, so that's what it is. You're striving to be perfect. So you're not just living with this, oh, I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect. Because see, it, it, whoever you say you are, you're going to become that. So if you keep saying I'm not perfect, you'll never, you'll never strive. You'll never even try to be perfect. You will continually to walk in your own natural state of thinking. You won't allow God to renew your mind so that you take on the fruits of the Spirit, which is the Lord. Okay, um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like this type of content, if you, if you are a uh, enjoying this bible challenge if you desire to continue to wake up and uh watch these videos and uh have the bible in front of you and apply some of these principles into your life please subscribe and i love y'all i thank god for y'all and stay prayerful continue to pray over your families continue to cheat teach your children how to pray for themselves because they're not going to always be around you they're not children have to know how to keep themselves covered under the blood teach them pray for them uh open the bible to them let them see your lifestyle and your children will gravitate to that because I don't know no child that don't want to be like mom or dad unless mom or dad are not setting the example. Amen. All right. I love y'all. Take care. Bye.